Hello and welcome back. So now in this video we will add sound effects to our enemy and to our enemy drone. So first of all let's uh, click on our enemy. Okay, he has the audio source, he has the enemy script. So let's quickly open up the enemy script. Where is it? Right here. And on the enemy script if we scroll up and actually right here in the sounds and UI let's create a public audio clip let's name this as shooting sound as well and then we need a reference to our audio source so we will say public audio source let's name this audio source and then in the awake let's say audio source equals to get component and let's name this are you souls okay now let's clear the shooting sound so in the shoot player function after we play the muzzle flash we want to play the shoot sound so let me just copy that because the variable name names are same for the enemy so we can just copy and paste that in here and if you come right here let's click on the enemy let's open up this Right here, let's provide our audio source and now the shooting sound for the enemy. So in the audio for the enemy, I think it was this sound, this gun machine, okay? You can add your own as well if you have any sound effect. So I will just simply drag and drop that in there. Now let's play the game. And see how does it works. Let's come closer. As you can see now, it plays the shooting sound and the hurt sound as well. And let me now stop the game. Now the enemy can shoot. Now let's focus up on the enemy drone. So when the drone is moving in the air, we want to play this sound. Okay, and when the drone is shooting, we want to play the machine gun sound, which is this one. Or actually this one. So click on the enemy drone, add a audio source. And in the audio source, make it 3D. Let's move the volume down here and let's set the range to 10 or you can say 15 for example okay because we don't want to hear the drone sound everywhere in our map now in the scripts open up the enemy drone script and right here we will do the same as we did for the enemy so we can actually copy these two, paste it right there, and let me go down. Let's copy that, and we shoot player after we play the muzzle flash and the muzzle flame. We want to play the shooting sound. Now let's get back to the Unity. Click on this enemy drone, let me clear that. Okay, we need to provide the audio source there and now the shooting sound. So let's add that sound. And uh, when the drone is moving, we want to play that sound. So simply drag and drop that in the audio source, audio clip, okay? Now let me disable the first enemy okay we don't want him in the scene for now and let's play the game lock the cursor and as you can see we can't hear the drone moving we will basically make the range a little bit higher Plays the shooting sound, but it doesn't play the audio 
source right here check the loop okay now if you play the game let's get closer to the drone and hear the drone sound it actually play the shooting sound of the Let's make the max distance to 500 and let's play it. We have a volume. Let's decrease, increase the volume actually. Let's increase it. If we play it, we still can't hear the sound of the drone moving. And this is because we are making changes on the enemy okay let's just go back let's make it 20 let's click on this enemy drone okay and right here increase the volume a little bit and set the max distance to 500 and now you will surely hear the drone sound as you can see The drone is moving and it is playing the sound. Okay, now let's set this back to 15 or 20 and move the volume down. And the next thing which we need to add is the flamethrower sound. Okay, so on the enemy drone we added the shooting sound now let's add that sound as well so right here we will say public audio clip let's name this as flame sound let's go down below right there just cut that from there, add there, and right here we will add the flame sound. Save this, get back to Unity, click on enemy drone right here. We need to provide the flame sounds in the audio, provide the flamethrower sound. Let's play the game. Let's run towards the drone. And you will notice it plays the drone sound as well. We actually don't want the player heart sound to be played again and again like that. So for that, what we need to do in the player script. For now, let's just comment out this player heart sound, okay? We will actually be not adding the player heart sound. So with that done, see you guys in the next video.